Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome back to another vlog. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're taking care. I'm out uh, wandering around today, enjoying the uh, the afternoon weather. It has been uh, quite lovely. We... Hello, camera. It's been actually quite lovely today. Uh, I had plans to do some filming and uh, and then life just kind of got in the way. And not in a bad way. I've had a wonderful day. Uh, I had my live stream this morning. And that went okay. <laughs> uh, I didn't extend, intend to have a stream from the house. So uh, the fact that I was able to do it, I'm okay. Uh, then I went off and I met a buddy of mine for coffee. We were supposed to be around 10. I was a little bit late because I got done the stream a little bit late. And I had to drive down. And it was nice. We, uh, I, I figured we'd probably hang out for like an hour and a bit. Yeah, it was like three and a half hours. Another one of his friends showed up, so we connected. And it was really cool. Um, you know, a, a, an older gentleman that has actually been doing like video, like filming uh, for years. I uh, showed me a picture of like when he was in his 20s, like carrying like the old school cameras. And we kind of were talking about, you know, what it was like when he was filming and, you know, talking about how much gear he had to carry. No idea what he says, but I hear that all the time. Hello. <laughs> and if you didn't hear, they said hello, Barang. Um, a barang is a generalized term for foreigners here. In my understanding, it's actually more of a French word or for like the, uh, the French for, uh, visitors previously, but it's now been kind of used as an all encompassing one. So little kids tend to say it a fair amount. So, and I thought that was adorable because they said it so cutely, <laughs> but yeah, um, show me pictures of when he was uh, doing film work back in the day and uh, like just the gear he used to have to carry, you know, like 150 pounds worth plus, you know, just batteries and film and the camera itself and, you know, all the stuff that he was able to do with it. You were even talking like ND filters and all that kind of stuff. And then I was showing him this. <laughs> he was just tickled to see how much is like packed into this little piece of tech uh, so we're going to get together again and I'm uh, going to take him out, show him how this works, let him give it a shot. I know he said he's thinking of starting off a YouTube channel, which would be amazing to have somebody that actually knows how to do this, you know, has been a videographer and, and done this kind of stuff. And he wants to do interviews and stuff with folks, which is like absolutely so cool. Um, you know, there's a wealth of information out there and he's definitely a person and a personality to do that kind of thing. So. Um, you know, anything I can do to help him get motivated to, uh, you know, find the right gear and all that kind of stuff. You know, let him use this stuff for a little bit to get a feel for it and see how it works for him. I am down. So, yeah, it was cool. It's nice. Uh, one of the things I absolutely love in CM Reap is the number of people I bump into. Um, I just had another gentleman while I was walking down the street. I'm, I'm shopping for, like... Uh, uh, mops and brooms and that kind of crap and cleaning supplies for my apartment. I'm not on a, any spe specific, you know, thing. I'm just wandering, seeing if I could find something. And uh, I got this. Guy, hey, do you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> and so we end up chit chatting for a while. He's here, uh, you know, going through the process of getting his retirement visa. And it was nice. You know, we ended up having like. I probably like a half hour conversation just standing on the side of the road. Dear God. Construction everywhere around here, it seems. Uh, and this is a Sunday. <laughs> but yeah, my day has been packed full and this is it. This is, I, I run into folks all the time here in Seam Reap and I absolutely love it. Hello. Um, you know, it's not necessarily just fans or anything, just folks, you know, you're out walking and, you know, the uh, person you smile and they're 
like, oh my God, somebody's smiling, let's go talk. And you end up having a conversation, learning about all these people that are here. You know, some are just traveling, some are kind of nomadic, some are kind of lost. But everybody's got a story to tell and it's fun. And it's great to get to, uh, to learn about other people as I'm on this adventure myself. And uh, yeah, I've, I've met about a dozen people since I came back <laughs> and it's been great. You know, it's been a really, really nice uh, welcome back to, uh, to the city. I've been really enjoying myself. Um, I had intentions of filming some other stuff today. I was going to, uh, you know, get something to eat or do something. And um, with the stomach still feeling, eh, I decided not to do the food. And then uh, I was out to go do some shopping and... Well, I was going to do that earlier. Um, there's a new uh, Anchor Market that I wanted to go and see. And there's also a new 7-Eleven. So I was going to go, you know, eyeball those places and check them out. And by the time I got done hanging out this, this morning, I was like, oh, it's so late. <laughs> I better not. And so I just been like wandering around. I thought, yeah, we'll do some shopping. And I'm like, you know, oh. I'm like, oh, you got to still record your stuff, you ding dong. I'm like, oh, I'll get to it. And now here it is. It's uh, closing in on four o'clock in the afternoon. I, I haven't eaten. I've had, I, I had a great tea today. I had a lemon tea at Fame Cafe. I've been trying to stay away from coffee lately. Tea, back on the tea thing. And it's been good. Lemon tea, it's nice. Touch of sugar. The lemon, nice sour. And I always have to tell them, extra, extra lemon. I'm good. Lemon, lemon. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's been uh, a rough week for me. Um, I'm, I'm doing okay health-wise. It's just uh, feeling really weird. Um, like I said before, it's like I had a bad headache turn into stomach cramps and you know that whole thing happened and I was feeling good for a couple of days then it kind of turned again and it's been uh, not awful and that's the that's why I say it's weird you know it's like I'll, I'll be fine you know go about my ba my day doing my thing and then I'll have like you know a glass of water and then all of a sudden my stomach's turning I'm like what the hell where'd this come from so if uh, this doesn't clear up another day, I'm going to get some tests run to see if it... Because a after a certain point, it's uh, no longer an illness. It's no longer a, you know, food poisoning. It could be, you know, something else, which is, you know, at that stage, you're looking at something like, you know, either like a parasite or... A bacterial infection or something else is causing this. So, uh, like I said, if it if it goes much longer, I'll tuck into it. But uh, today has been better. Today's been a lot better. So, but I've been kind of distracted all day too. So that kind of probably makes it easier to uh, not pay attention to it. But yeah, I've been feeling pretty good all day. Uh, yeah, I had. Uh, coffee this morning at home no problems and then I had my tea and water and a bunch of stuff while I was out and I haven't had a single cramp or anything so fingers crossed maybe I, I, I passed whatever it was and I'm on the mend who knows but uh, everything's a learning curve when you are in a, a foreign land and eating foreign foods and doing what I do because I've been really lucky uh, when it comes to food poisoning and I haven't really had a whole lot of problems with it but uh, some of the other stuff I kind of going hmm eventually I'm going to uh, lose the lottery <laughs> and uh, my brain's starting to think today it's like hmm and it kind of comes to a point in my head because uh, inadvertently when I was chatting with my buddy this morning he, he mentioned you know, something along the lines of what I'm dealing with. And I'm like, interesting. <laughs> it's 
So he gave me a couple of suggestions of things that he was taking and, you know, where to go and get a test run if I, if I you know, deem what the costs were. So I will see. Uh, I'm not too, too worried about it. Like I said, I'm not feeling like weak or sick or anything. It's just that every now and again, I get a cramp and whoops, you know, no big deal. Uh, and here's the other thing too. One of the side effects of having colitis is the current symptoms. So if whatever it was I had it was a bug, you know, and it kind of lingered, it could have set off like a minor colitis attack and I might be just dealing with that a little bit too. So that's why I wait an extra couple of days longer than most people should or would. But, you know, I, I listen to my body a lot. So when, uh, if it feels the same as what I've had before, I kind of go with it. But if it feels a lot different, then I'd be like, mm, this is new. So those are the things I listen for. But anyway, I'm good. I've had a great day. I'm having a lot of time being back here. And uh, I am loving this area, man. These markets are fun. I like the width of the streets and the hustle and bustle of this area is fun. And I wanted to try to see if there were any local shops that carry out looking for more markets or stuff. And I'm just adding more distance each time. I'll take my bike and park at a spot and, and walk from there and, you know, I still get my walking in, get to drive and go to places. And I'm trying not to use the bike too much as a crutch, but what I'll use it as like, okay, I want to go from, I want to walk from here. You know, and, and still take my 10,000 steps, but let's take it in an area that I've never done it before. So that's kind of what I'm doing. You know, when I was in Bangkok, I would do this kind of thing, but I'd hop on the public transit. And since we don't have that here, here, this is just as easy. Hop on the scooter, go, get to a new spot, walk around, go back to my scooter, go back home. Easy. But anyway. I rambled on enough, I'm sure. You're sick and tired of hearing my voice at this stage if you're still here though, thank you. But anyway, um, I do wanna thank everybody for your continued support. Yeah, you guys are amazing. I do appreciate the comments and all the well wishes and everything, very much so, it means the world to me. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna sign off. Uh, if you do like my content, please feel free, like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, if you are still here and you are so inclined, there'll be a link over here to another one of my videos. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.